welcome to my channel where today I'm gonna to take you outside onto our deck, which needs a lot of attention. Maybe a little power washing, a little bit of painting, and then I'll style it for summer. But before I do any of that, I'm going to show you what it looked like last year where it needed a lot of attention, needed new paint, and we also did a little DIY project out there. Here in Northern Virginia, and maybe you can relate, houses are pretty close together. And when you're outside, you feel as though you're on display a little bit. So we wanted to create privacy out there. And while I looked at the pre-made privacy panels or screens online, the measurements wouldn't quite work for our deck. So my husband and I just did a little DIY project and made our own. And while it's far from perfect, it's pretty functional and it might be something that works for you as well. This was our lovely view last year. Just look at all that fabulous chipped paint. Nothing though that a fresh coat of it couldn't take care of. I used Valspar Outdoor Paint in Bistro White. Then it was time to tackle this mess. Looks pretty bad. So I got out my orbital sander and went to town. And then rather than restaining it, I went with Bear Premium Advanced Deckover in Cape Cod Gray. I highly recommend this paint. Just look at the consistency. And even though it is thick, it went on so easily and we really, really like it. Now it's time to add the privacy panel. So we ended up using two by fours that I eventually painted white along with these vertical primed one by fours. I then used scrap pieces of one by twos as spacers to ensure that my boards were one and a half inches apart. Next, we mounted the vertical two by fours to our existing posts using three inch wood screws. Lastly, we screwed the one by fours horizontally to the two by four vertical posts. And these are the screws we used. As you can see, winter took its toll on a few of the boards. Not too bad, but enough to be unsightly. We lost a few of the little plugs as well. And while we should have stored our chairs inside, we didn't, so they need a bit of attention too. Let's see what a bit of Dawn Power Wash, Simple Green, Scrub Brush, and Power Washer can do. While the cleaning agents and the power washer did a great job, I had to bring in a little bit of reinforcement and added one coat of the Kills Molded Mildew Paint, not all over, just to the problem spots. I then went over both panels with Valspar Season Flex, which is their outdoor paint, tinted in Bistro White, just to give the entire thing a nice, fresh look.
Now that everything is looking nice and clean, it's time to do a little bit of styling. Starting with the black urns, I have one in each corner and then one over by the stairs as well. And thanks to my silk thumb, not green, we'll be using faux geraniums, faux ferns, and faux grass in the containers. I decided not to use the chairs that I cleaned for the head and foot of the table. Let's just shop the house instead. I borrowed these chairs from the kitchen and this little table from the basement. I raided my stash and here are a few of the things that I might be using out there. Glasses and candles or candle holders and candles, a little stand, pictures, and these plates, even though I'm not going to do a tablescape out there just yet. I might add in some happy lemons along with the florals. I like those because they have just that hint of yellow. I also nabbed this dish towel and tray, although I'm not sure if I'll use that one or this woven one. I have a basket and then my favorite woven table runner. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. We'll be back out here later on in the season where we'll add some patio lights and do a fun summer tablescape. Next week, we'll be back inside where we'll kick off our summer decorating series. As always, thank you for being here. And before you go, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much and have a great week. Bye-bye.